Eddie Wineland, making his way to the world-famous octagon. Eddie Wineland is already a veteran of the sport. He has over 20 pro fights and was the very first WEC bantamweight champion. He's a very accomplished wrestler with powerful strikes. Eddie Wineland, fired up and ready to go. set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Hannon Burrell is a training partner of Jose Aldo with solid boxing skills and an excellent submission game. He's got a lot of experience fighting in Brazil and comes in with over 20 MMA wins. Hannon Burrell, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana. He is the former WEC bantamweight champion, Eddie Wineland. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Kevin Barral. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of this contest is Eve Lavin. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we are ready to start round one. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Eddie Wineland. Hennon Burrell. Round one Fight. is underway. Beautiful hook. Both men scoring points here. Teeing away. He caught the kick. He's down. He dives in and delivers a huge shot. All right, let it go, guys. Get up. Referee's going to stand him up here. Good call. All right, they'll go toe to toe once again. Oh, big kick. Good sprawl. He's in the full guard here. He's got side control. He's got half guard. And back to full guard. Back to side control. Half guard. Nice punches. Full guard here. Side control again. In the half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half and mount again. Half guard. Morale is bleeding here. In the full guard here. Side control now. He's got half guard. Under two minutes remains. Got the clinch up against the cage. He's got the double. Stopped. Under a minute remains. Get that double going. Get that double. He's got double underhooks. 
seconds. He's got his opponent up towards the fence. Nice right hand. Round one is in the books. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. We don't need that bullshit. The inside. Listen to me. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hook right. This is the round he's going to break. You hear me? You've got to take it to him. You can dump him. You control him. He's going up the cage, okay? You gotta come back. Holy steps back. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was beautiful technique here, right on target. And here we see that explosive flurry. Right here we see that tremendous counter shot land. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, that Mike. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Ariani gets us set for round two. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And again, he loves throwing that punch. Oh, wow, the power of the takedown there. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Inside the guard. Side control. Big right hand. And really raining down some haymakers. Into half guard. He's in full guard here. He's got side control. He's in full guard. Side control. Rouse really starting to bleed here, Mike. Wow, that right hand. Half guard. He's in the guard. Pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. Oh, big head kick. kick. The clinch game once again. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. And into side control. Okay, moves into the mount here. Oh, we got reversed. Two minutes left in the second. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Nice body kick. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. He's got, and he's him got down. the takedown. He's got half guard. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Brutal ground and pound. He lets him up. Oh, those are vicious. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Push kick. And now he's answered. Good takedown defense. 30 seconds remains in the round. Into the guard. Two rounds in the books, three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. He has no defense for it. You gotta fight your fight, you gotta take him down, you gotta impose your will because you're bigger, stronger. One quick thing when you go jail blow, come back with the jail. Don't come back with the hook, he's leaning back, he'll catch him with the jail. Awesome. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex. Beautiful technique. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. There was some great action in that round, Mike. Punches. Hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? There's Shandella. Getting set for round three. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? 
And we are set fight. for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice sprawl. Good takedown. He's in full mount. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Oh! He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, they're going to close it up again. Right to the clinch. Good sprawl. Over the top of that big right. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Good body shot. And he answers. Oh, nice left and a right. Inside with a clinch again. Oh, and he slips and winds up on his back. Nice right hand. Oh, reversal. Goes right into side control. Half guard. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Side control. Boom! And again! Into half guard. He's in guard here. He's in side control here. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. He ate that one. He's in the guard now. Side control. Nice right hand. Oh, another one. Half guard. In the guard. Pushing his opponent away. And he lets him back up. Both guys staying in tight. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Man, they're pummeling back and forth. It's hard to see who has the edge here. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. And that signifies the end of round three of this UFC title fight. They both set a pretty good pace in that round, Joe. How do you think it went? It's always tough to predict how the judges will score it, Mike. Both fighters took some notable damage in that one. with the punches now, right? We can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. Try to spin him around. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on, the, on the cage, okay? Need some more. Bent knees, okay? Getting a little bit high. Bent. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And this was a perfectly timed counter. Right on target. Right here, we see that tremendous counter shot land. Very good action in that round, Mike. Right? You feel most of that guard. Bring out that combat, dude. Get yourself. Okay? Brittany gets us ready for round four. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? We begin the championship fight. rounds. This is round four of this title fight. Nice Stuffed. Throw. Full mount. This is not good. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Side control. Nicely done. Is it full guard? Now into side control. Oh! He's got half guard. Into his guard. Side control. Full guard. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kabora. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Half guard. He's in the full guard. Under three minutes now. Good takedown defense. He's in the full. He's looking to isolate an arm here, looking for the Kimura. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Huge left and right. 
Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Full guard here. Side control. Into half guard. Into full guard here. He's got side control. Oh, another one he landed. Inside the guard. He's got side control. Big run. Oh, he's rocked. Wow, that right hand. It is all over. Wow. Man, that was nasty. We have a new UFC bantamweight champion. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Look at it from this angle. the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 45 seconds of the fourth round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And now the new UFC bantamweight champion of the world Eddie Wineland. Eddie Wineland captures the UFC bantamweight championship.